Hey guys, it's Alex here. Welcome back to another episode of Necessary Roughness. And well, today's video kind of got saved for recent events. Because, well, yesterday, if you're watching it today, this gets uploaded. It was a slow news day. You could talk about Man United and West Ham. The shit with Pug Button. Fucking Noble. That shit was just stupid. I mean... It looked like they were fucking making, hooking up in the middle of the fucking pitch. But I won't get in there. It was really stupid. They both su both teams suck. So let's just go on. Nothing in the NBA because all that's happening this weekend. NHL. Predators do lose to the Jets and Jets do make the finals. This year will be the first year since 2008 that a different team wins the Stanley Cup. Instead of like the three different teams. So it's very interesting to see that. It will be very entertaining playoff series. But let's just go into the NBA. Because, like I said, there was no games yesterday, but news that happened today changes a lot. And it's about the Toronto Raptors and Dwayne Casey. Dwayne Casey led their, his team to a franchise record of 59 wins, the number one team in the Eastern Conference. I mean, he might get coach of the year this year. Just got fired. If I only told you all that information right there, nothing else, you might think the Toronto Raptors are fucking retarded. That they're insane. Like, why would you ever trade away a coach with that quality who just did that achievement like that in this matter of like weeks. You might think that's, yeah, it sounds really stupid. Until you talk about the thing that matters most, the thing that the Cincinnati Bengals will never do with jo fucking Marvin Lewis, is that they care about the postseason. He sucks in the postseason. I mean, swept twice by Cleveland back to back years, and three years straight they lose to Cleveland. They haven't gone anywhere. Now, I, I, I think this is the right move. This team is going to get switched up because they need to switch because this core is not working or it isn't successful enough. So you know what? I, I thought if, if you're just a normal guy that just looks at it, just looks at numbers and says, holy shit, what a dumb move by the Raptors. You don't really know the whole story. It's all about postseason in the NBA. No one gives a shit about regular season. Look at the Cavaliers. They didn't give a fuck about postseason, regular season. As long as they know they're going to make the playoffs, that's all they needed. And that's, we'll look at them now. So, let me know what you guys think. Was this a good move or bad move? I think this was a great move because he wasn't working. I like him. Maybe, maybe he'll do better in a new situation because he's definitely getting, he's definitely getting a job somewhere. I'm, I'm curious to see who the Raptors get because they need to get someone great because you're replacing someone who historically was great for that club. So, let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys have a good day. Please leave a like and subscribe and peace.